Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Today, I got a banger for you guys. This is all for you guys, done in four. So anybody that's coming to this channel right now, make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole video. What do you guys think about Faisal that did the intro? He did pretty good, huh? Go to the link and subscribe to this channel because he has a channel and that's why he's there. For anybody that has a channel, just send me your intro at artthiverse at gmail.com. Send me your intro or you can DM me on my Instagram. Actually, you should DM me. Today, I got, I got, you know what I'm saying? Sheesh. I'm kind of scared to uh, show you guys. Ah. Uh, before we get into the video, <laughs> before we get into the video, here is intro. Intro. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram, Activers. All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be reacting to y'all, Dread. All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be reacting to y'all, Dreads. And we gonna leave mine alone, all right? Let's get into it. For those of you guys that may not get the review today, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to limit the video uh, as much as I can. I have so many requests and so many people send me their dread reviews. And a lot of people didn't follow instructions. So for those that didn't follow instruction, I'm sorry, but I give you guys way too many chances to follow the instruction, which is going on Instagram, tagging me. And if he, if he put like the verse, hashtag the verse fam, it would have been like the first on the list. But nobody, I don't think nobody really did the verse uh, fam hashtag. So I'm gonna go to the ones that tag. Let's limit this to 15 minutes so that I can keep it short and sweet. All right, these are some people that have been tagging me. So I'm gonna react to them first, okay? This is, Shay Don Van, what? Shay Donovan uh, Brown. And sorry if I don't pronounce your names correctly because I'm straight from Africa and so I'm not used to these names, you know what I'm saying? If he put like, I would have like automatically read that thing, you know what I'm saying? This guy seems like he been growing his dreads for about maybe eight months. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know how long. But he dyed his tips so that's, that looks pretty good. Sometimes whenever you dye your tips, it kind of eliminates that uh, look, a look of messy dread in a way, like uh, or the ugly stage dread. It's like kind of like you don't know if it's a dread or if it's a curly hair. But when you dye the tip, sometimes you kind of like it's easy to pop out. So this is a pretty good start, man. Keep on doing it. Uh, it has a pretty good thickness to it in a way, but I know they would turn out a little bit thinner as you keep on retwisting it. So be careful on a retwist. I prefer that you do dry retwist like I use like I usually do. Avoid the professional retwist. So that was pretty good, Shane Don. Shane, Shane Don. <laughs> Off all Browns, Mr. Brown. All right, right here is uh, D Gun. Okay, he just starting then. Okay, that's good. Dread Journey. Is under uh, is underway. Dread dread journey is underway. Trusting the process. So is it is it that I don't know how to read or it's kind of confusing. I'm sorry guys. Okay, uh, if I'm really messing up y'all <laughs> Instagram right now. If I'm ending your career instead of making your career, I should be making your career. So sorry about that. You just starting fam. That's pretty good. Uh, I would say. Uh, do other stuff with your dread to before you really start dreading it because once you tread, dread it you can go back But it's hard to go back So I would say just keep messing with it like get curly hair Braids twists and stuff like that and then work your way up from there uh, right here is oh my boy right here fresh Dex uh, fresh Dex is this dude reacts to people, man, and his reaction is pretty good, actually. I've seen this one when he reacted to mine. He kind of roasted me on some, but I, I let that slide because he's hardworking, man, man. And keep doing this because you will blow it, bro. Trust me. Your Dread Reviews is going to blow. And you're already doing, like, famous people. Oh, man, you up next, man. I'm telling you. But he... I think he used to have Dreads. I get, oh yeah, because I think I remember reacting to yours, because you had the, yeah, half and half, yeah, I do remember it. He do got some, he used to have nice dreads, I don't know why he let it go. I think he's trying to regrow his dreads and uh, uh, get it to where it's kind of like as thick as mine, and uh, kind of like be inspirational to other people also. So this is a good person to follow uh, on Instagram or uh, his even his YouTube, I believe he got a YouTube, and yeah, that's where he reacted to me. 
Yep. So check out Fresh Dex. Uh, just change your uh, intro, bro. I do not like your intro. <laughs> That's a roast for you, roast to me. All right. My boy, Alex looks like he, uh, he's not even, okay, he mixed. I was gonna say he's not even of a color, uh, but he is mixed. I would say for being mixed, sometimes it's tough to get your the hair type threes to get locked up, but I think he's doing a really good job at this, man. Alex, keep on going. Look, look at this. Look, look at his hair. Like that, he turned out to a dread? Come on, man. And a lot of people trying to hit me up, like, can I turn to my hair to dread? I think y'all need to hit up Alex, man. Go to his uh, Instagram and ask him, Alex, bro, what you, what you do to your hair? How do you get it? All right, right here is Kai. Okay, Kai looks like he's pretty popular, too. And he looks like he's pretty consistent on his uh, Instagram. And, and uh, I think he does reaction to things. But his dread is pretty lit. Like, that's amazing. That That is a crispy look. And I like the fact that you... Screen recorded your uh, camera and it looks fire. Maybe I need to do that on one of my posts and maybe tag you in there or something like that because this is kind of iconic. Okay. And it looks like he uh, connects them, like he twists them together or something. I think what you need to do is maybe get a crochet hook and uh, blunt your tips and stuff like that. And I did a video on those too if you want to check that out. But his dread is pretty nice. Uh, another one is Khan the Shock. Shaka. Khan the Shaka. Khan the Shaka. Kind of Shaka or Kan Shaka? Oh, he might be uh, Asian or something. Kaniso. I'm a human being just like you. Yeah, you are, brother. Uh, right here. Oh, I think this is the guy that said, I'm coming for the top for the dread game and stuff like that. And I told him, bro, you already got the best dreads. You know what I'm saying? Quit comparing yourself to other people's dreads. It's like, I believe I have the best dreads or had the best dreads. Oh, God, please, no! Sorry, guys, but I'm gonna get back to the, the, the hair thing, man. May, maybe next video it might be hard for you guys to take in, but just don't comment anything negative, all right? Just like, you know what I'm saying? Just be nice. Just be nice, man. If you guys have not checked out the last video that I posted, the lo-fi thing, that's kind of like the direction that I want to take my channel towards, or I might even get another channel for that. Let me know what you guys think about that, or should I start a new dread set with Gunther the Great together with Gunther? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all mad, huh? <laughs> Heavy Evy 23. I think so. He's a producer, he's a photographer, and videographer also. So, my man's has looked like a J. Cole type of locks. Uh, almost looked like a freeform, but not really. Like, right here, it looks like freeform versus right here. Bro, your dreads are iconic, brother. Like, this is nice. Oh, with the, with the bun? With the bun, that's it. That's it right there. See, that's my favorite hairstyle. I don't know if you have a YouTube channel. Uh, you don't, but Afro-African, Arabian. Dang, you everything. You musician, you a model, you an actor. You everything, bro. That's good. You know what I'm saying? This is really hard. This dread is really hard. I like it. You look like kind of Jayco type of vibe. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. That's a nice dress. <laughs> Mr. Moves 16. Mr. Moves 16 look like he... Is that dreads or braids? I think you got braids, bro. I think you just try to clown people, bro. Uh, tell them that you got dreads, but you really don't got dreads. Yeah, those are braids, bro. Uh, this is a, this is a dread family, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we accept you. Welcome to the dread family. I know you want to get dreads in the future and you're doing stuff to your hair right now, probably. I like what you're doing. This is what I recommend to a lot of people. Get to where you do a lot of stuff with your hair before uh, you actually lock it up because once you lock it up, it's hard to unlock. Uh, and do other stuff with it. So it looks like he used to have dreads and then he combed it out. Uh, oh, he might have cut it actually. I would say just keep doing what you're doing right now. Just like mess with it and then later on lock it up. Shred scars. Uh, looks like he got some dreads. Those are some crispy dreads, man. You just need to blunt your tips uh, so that it can look more of a dread than a curly hair. Looks like he's a skater. Those are rocking good. He can like ponytail them. You in a good journey, brother. Keep doing this. Iconic pictures too. Look at them. Look at them pictures, man. That's what I'm talking about. Rockstar. But it looks like he got a pretty long dreads and it's, it's, it's red too. So that's a pretty nice locks, bro. Looks like he's been growing it for a while. So that's actually pretty nice, man. The red gives it a good vibe. Looks like he got pretty nice dreads. Those look good. Don't, tell me that don't look good. That looks good. That's a nice dread. That's a nice set of dreads. Pretty tight dreads too. I know that my boy right here always, always showing love. So we're going to show love back, man. We got to return love. 
Looks like he got a uh, lock started. I think through through time when it gets to a, a longer length, you will you will start getting a pretty good set of locks. Uh, you should separate those if you, uh, unless you want to keep those in Congo. Uh, looks like you're just starting, and that's good. Uh, and this is the stage that's called ugly stage, but that's not really that bad, man. You just need to crochet hook it or free form it if that's what you're going for. So just kind of decide where, which direction you want to go to. Chapita. Chapita looks like he uh, he's Ethiopian maybe, uh, but he has pretty nice locks. Starting out, uh, those are like almost like coiled up locks. Uh, he can uh, end up like crochet hooking it later on uh, to to get it to actual locks. But I feel like you have a lot of things to to do before you actually you can do before you actually lock it. So I would say just take take my advice and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as much as I could, I tried to qualify you guys and some of you guys made it just because nobody really heard what I said, which was tagging me, tagging me, tagging me, tagging me, tagging me on the pictures and videos that you guys post on your channel or your uh, Instagram account. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys you guys follow the YouTube uh, of uh, Faisal that did the intro uh, so that we can all grow. And for those of you guys that have a YouTube channel and I want to grow, please hit me up in my DMs uh, and send me an intro of my intro so that I can put you guys up for the next upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Check out the previous video with the lo-fi beat that I did about no identity. It's finding your identity and then the more videos will be dropping about that soon. Also, not just identity, but other things that I, uh, I kind of got, I kind of acquired through life and through process of uh, experience of of certain amount of years or of certain amount of years of being by myself and living, uh, moving out by myself, and then getting to the process of getting married, uh, connected to the people that I love and inspire me all the time. And so this is all a growth that I am trying to post out there positivity with growth that people can start from the bottom and get to a place but it's not just getting to a place without any help you actually need help and finding the right people finding the right places to look for those helps are what matters and for me it was Christ it could be that for anybody also because Christ has a arm wide open man for everybody it don't matter gender race color whatever it is he's accepting for anybody and for those that say that they don't need him he didn't come for people that don't need him he came for the people that really need him and that's why he said I came for the righteous for the sinners not the righteous ones so you guys make sure you guys check out the previous video this is it's, it's deep and you guys need to probably watch it two three times sometimes to get the whole, the whole entirety of it Thank you guys for everything you guys have done. 10K has been a smooth ride. We already at 11K, 12K coming soon. And I want us to get to an endless limit of subscribers. So let's get this video up. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. You did. How do I come to find out who I am? Where do I start searching?